started on a catamaran, holds about a hundred cars, and really zips along. If you look at the wake of this boat, you can see it's two streams, one from each glider. And this really zips along this thing. So anyway, goodbye Africa. And goodbye to all the non-memories -mem I've never had. All the people I've never met. <laughs> all the beaches I've never swam, swam at. And all the deserts I never drove through. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So this is my beginning of day five. So it was very hard to hear outside. <laughs> Um, so yeah, welcome to day five and uh, sad day five. Um, but my my comfort prize is I'm gonna go to Portugal. So I'm gonna drive through Gibraltar, make a little swing uh, through it, and end up in Portugal uh, later on tonight. I have a little hotel booked there and uh, check out Portugal beaches. I hear they're very good. <laughs> We'll see whether it's a worthy substitute for Africa. So I'll keep you posted over and out. Oh yeah, and one more thing. So this this is the super fast ferry um, from Ceuta to Algeciras. Um, <clears throat> and there's a new advertising trick here. It says um, with, with great fanfare on the internet that yes, you've got free Wi-Fi on this boat and that is true. There is a Wi-Fi signal, but it's not connected to the internet. So, <laughs> that's a new gimmick. So that you see that I'm not lying, there's a big advertisement sign here, free Wi-Fi. <laughs> and that's also all over the internet. And Again, no internet connection. It's really incredible how fast this thing drives. Unbelievable. I wish one could drive all the way on this road. This is lovely. Wow, look at this. What a beautiful pastoral scene. So we are in Portugal now about uh, <laughs> what is it two kilometers behind the border or five kilometers <laughs> something like this but that is very very pastoral here wow yeah so this is still the same spot that uh, pastoral scene over there <laughs> so i came off this ramp here for the parking spot it says 60 or something speed limit and what they don't tell you that the pavement ends and I <laughs> drove straight to this pothole. Poor little Simi got quite a shock there. <laughs> so it's uh, the state of this parking lot isn't uh, necessarily up to European standards. <laughs> so anyway there's poor little Simi taking a rest from that pothole. All right. So this should conclude day five. Um, it was easy going at first, as you can tell by the previous clips. And then all of a sudden it got extremely windy again and very cold, um, sort of around 18 degrees and a brutal wind going again. And then the uh, major highway that I had just paid 10 euros for in, uh, in uh, uh, road fees um, was closed, there was police and they, they squeezed off all the traffic 
and um, then the really nice part started because I was forced off the highway. Um, I drove through the real Portugal, so to say, <laughs> through very, very tiny country roads and some field ways and stuff like this, um, and uh, made my way to Lagos. This is where I am right now in in Baugua, something like this, Lagos, and um, it's uh, uh, it's surprisingly cool here. Uh, people are wearing a jacket and it's about 18 degrees right now um, so, so I'm surprised uh, but here's the uh, sight from the rooftop of the hotel where I am this is again you can tell we are in, in very much in Mediterranean Europe so to say very very narrow streets and again I could only get there by motorbike um, people who tourists who have the car have to walk quite a bit with their luggage <laughs> to make it to the hotel because you can't just get just can't get through with with a car so very interesting i'll still show you a few shots from the rooftop here so i have to block out the sun here with my hand because i'm going right straight against it there's an old churchy up there and when you look down here, you have these very angled um, houses that are, they all look like, you know, that famous Escher painting of, of those stairs. And here is a side of the rooftops. Here, further view of the terrace that I'm on, and over there is the ocean. And here you can see some of the angled least one angled street there that people have to squeeze through so this is my view here from the hotel terrace <laughs> 